guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Oh My Gosh, Taylor Swift is about to take so much of my coins that I have saved up for her. Okay, so today sporadically, Taylor Nation dropped more merchandise. It's called Through the Eras Collection and it actually ends on the site 13 days away from the Eras Tour beginning. However, if you read in the fine print, it says while wow, supplies last. Now, when this collection came out, I'm just gonna jump to the chase. I was like, oh my god, I'm either about to spend a lot of money now or at tour. I did decide to wait except on one item, and that one item is the Eras Tour blanket. I did go ahead and get it. It's not gonna ship until much later. However, I'm not gonna have to tote it around. So that's just like, you know what, I'm willing to wait till June for that to ship. Um, for me not to have to tote a blanket around because I don't know for for the rep tour They did like early merch like I think even the day before they opened it up and they had it outside the venue And you could go early and I am really hoping that happens because I'm about to have an entire closet and I really don't want to have to like carry it into the stadium so i'm fingers crossed they're gonna do that but that's not confirmed yet as it gets closer i'm sure they'll update us but yeah i'm just i'm just gonna go through all these pieces and let me tell you before people were like a little rocky about the eras tour merch but now everybody's like oh my god they went above and beyond and they did oh freaking K. So a lot of this doesn't start to ship until after tour starts and some people are even wondering if this collection is going to be available on tour. It definitely makes sense that it would be. I think that they're going to have like different maybe drops. I didn't think this until literally today. I could be wrong. This could be the last of it but a part of me is just thinking okay well they're just going to keep tacking on the merch. Um, this is Taylor's whole discography thus far that we have to cover. They're not going to like skimp on stuff. And, um, anyways, I really think that in Glendale, my bank account is going to start sobbing. Like, I know that. Everything on this collection is a literal chef's kiss. Okay, so the first thing that they have is a t-shirt for the Eras Tour for every single era. That's ten eras, okay? The first one they have is the Eras Tour Midnight's Album t-shirt and of course Taylor has not toured this album so it's a picture of her. It's a clock. I love this so much and it says Taylor's with the Eras Tour and then it has the back. The t-shirts are $45 and let me just tell you I want all of them. Now I'm probably not going to get all of them. Fingers crossed that these are actually available on tour but fingers crossed I will collect all of them, but I won't collect them all at once because that is a lot of money to drop all at once. Okay, 10 out of 10 on the Midnight's one. Then they have an Evermore one. Now she also hasn't toured this one and I keep saying this because when we get to Speak Now and Fearless and Red in 1989 and even Rep, they use pictures from the tour, which I think is so sentimental and very cute. Okay. So Evermore, they have four pictures and on the back it just says Taylor Swift the Eras Tour. It's literally so cute. Um, I am quite literally obsessed. They have this one for folklore and it looks like a little like scrapbook which I think is absolutely adorable. Like I love this so much. I do wish they had the dates however somebody pointed out in my last video that it might look a little crammed. If they did that and you have a point there the lover one is just equally as adorable it's pink and the design on it is so freaking cute and the back is even pink like come on a lot of the shirts don't ship until around April 17th so if you're looking to get a shirt and like you want to wear it to tour keep that in mind um I am so excited to see like if I, if I pull up in Glendale and this isn't at the merch booth, I probably will start crying because most of the stuff that I want is in this collection. And I really don't want to miss out on it, but I, I don't want to like spend it, I'd rather buy it in person. The next one is Rep and it's like a little scrapbook again. I, so freaking cute. The 1989 one is 
by far my favorite. I love the color of the shirt. I love the little stars. I love the effects that they have on the on the pictures. Like they picked so many cute ones and they have like a little 2023 here. I'm a sucker for details and this is definitely so freaking cute. Um, the two pictures on the back have like a little piece of tape over it that says 2023 and this will be my first one that I grab. Like I I swear this will be the first one. Um, and that would also be sentimental for me to get that in Glendale because I met Taylor on the 1989 World Tour in Glendale. The red one is adorable. I love that they color coded it. Um, I love how they put little like autumn leaves on it. It is, it's perfect, okay? Like I love how there's like a collage of photos on front and back. When I tell you guys that my bank account is just sobbing hearing me talk about this um the next one is speak now and it's like the scrapbook type again and on the back it's it's so cute it's so simple but it's so cute and so meaningful for the fans now this one will redeem me not going to the fearless tour i remember i even looked up tickets to go to the fearless tour but it was sold out by the time I found out about it when I was little. And so my first Taylor concert was Speak Now, but I remember I wanted to go to Fearless so bad. So this is where I redeem myself as the moral of the story. I'm obsessed with this one. It's almost like a brown it looks like on the mock-up. I'm not quite sure. It could be a black shirt, um, but it looks like a really dark brown. And then it has gold and it has Taylor at the... Fearless tour and it says the Eras tour on the back it has two more pictures of her like tossing her hair around and I am in love with this okay this is probably my set no the debut one it's green and it's giving like vintage 2006 vibes which I absolutely love and then the back is green as well um I, I love all of these so much. I was really, really hoping that they were going to do something like this, and they did. The only thing that they didn't release that I'm still like, where is it, is like a baseball cap. Like, I need an heiress to her baseball cap. Thank you so much. Okay, the next thing they have is the Taylor Swift, the heiress to her collage, black long sleeve tee at $55.00. And this one's very cute, okay? This one has Fearless Taylor, Red Taylor, and then Speak Now Taylor, which some are saying, actually, that could be Speak Now Taylor. Hold on. No, that's Fearless Taylor. So some people are saying that there's a theory going around. These are the Taylors that are going to have Taylor's versions out by the time that tour happens. So we already have Fearless Taylor's version, we have Red Taylor's version, so like a Speak Now Taylor's version going to join this. Then on the back it's simple, it just says Taylor Swift the Eras Tour and it has the dates. For me personally, I would rather have like a crew neck or a hoodie. I'm not much of a long sleeve person, however, I could easily be persuaded. That's what, I want to see this one in person. This one does not ship online until April 17th. Somebody also pointed out that maybe they're not shipping until you know a month out because it's a month exactly after tour starts so they might already have some orders like boxed up and packaged and ready for distribution at the stadiums so that's why it might be like pushed out for like manufacturing just a thought then there's a taylor swift the heiress tour collage hoodie and it has every single taylor on it and it's white and it has debut, fearless, speak now, red, you get the drift, and I'm obsessed, okay? I love, love, love the back. It just says Taylor Swift the Ares Tour. It has one, two, three pictures of Taylor. And then in the middle of it, it has all the dates. And then it one, two, three pictures of Taylor. And it says 2023. I love. I love it very, very dearly. And some people are saying that they don't love the front how there's some tailors on the front and some on the back. However, I am definitely a fan of this hoodie. Okay. The next one, which I am absolutely going to get, 
is the $65, the Heiress Tour Grey Crew Neck. It has the, not the dates. I keep saying the dates, but like the venues and the cities on the sleeve, um, which I think is this amazing touch. I love, love, love that. They did one like that for Reputation and Chef's Kiss. Then for like the Taylor Swift part, it has all the Taylors, like in the Taylor Swift font which I think is such a cute, cute, cute touch. Thank you, it will be mine. There will be no further explanation, just Rachel's bank account sobbing. I love how they got really creative with this. Like, it makes me so happy that they just, for the first collection, they did like very basic. Like they slapped the tour logo on everything possible. They said, t-shirt, crew neck, hoodie, long sleeve, poster, even like a vinyl slip mat like here you go here's the tour logo and this one they said let's have fun with it and you know what all the applause to them the next thing is the 65 dollars Eras tour black sweatpants now this ships april 17th as well so they just say Taylor's with the Eras Tour in black on the on the sweatpants. I remember they did sweatpants for Reputation, and I remember they were very small. I didn't get them, but my best friend did, and she was like, these are so small. So I don't know. Um, it's not the same people doing Taylor's merch than it was for Rep, so take that with a grain of salt, but just something to keep in mind. Um, I probably won't get these, and when I do, just you know, smile and nod. However, like the thing about this is I don't like sweatpants that cuff at the bottom. Like I hate when I like lay down and they like roll up like, oop. like I, I have pajamas that are like that and they have gone to the donation bin because like they just irk me. Like it just irks me when pajamas like roll up. Like I, I can't do it. Like it's just one of my pet peeves. Um, so fun fact about me, However, we'll see. Okay, then the Eras Tour blanket. I definitely had to have this. It's a fleece blanket. It has the main picture of Taylor from the Eras Tour and then in like purples, oranges, blues, I mean not blues, pinks, kind of reddish tones are all the other Taylors in the back. And this is $75. It ships in June around the 30th. But like I said, I could justify it because I knew that this girl right here was not willing to carry it around the stadium. So I just said to myself, you know what? I'm just gonna order it now while it's right in front of my face and it'll just get shipped to a cute little box via USPS or UPS or FedEx, however they desire and end up at my doorstep. So the next thing is for $15 is the Eras Tour Nail Gems and they are acrylic. They're about three, three millimeters and they ship around May. Um, I, I'm obsessed with these. They're color coded by Era. They're adorable. I, I so approve. Okay. And then the next is the Heiress Tour Gold Foil Notebook. Now, I feel like this would be absolutely adorable to get when you're on the plane. This ship's May 19th. Um, 100 line pages. I feel like this would be absolutely adorable to, like, get and write when you're on the plane and stuff like that. Like, that would be adorable or you know even like the night before you go to bed you can journal and be like I'm seeing Taylor Swift tomorrow and maybe after the concert if you have any you know brain capacity left except thinking about like how much you love the tour um you can like sit down and like write a little journal entry personally mine would look like a mess because I'd be like oh my god she did this and then oh my god she came out and did this oh my god I'm like it would just be a mess it would you know but that would be a really cute idea. Now I'm tempted to get it. Somebody pointed out that they might not have like the smaller items on tour. But like, I feel like they'll have most of them. I don't know. I have no idea. We're just, the thing about Glendale is I'm going to be the guinea pig and I will vlog. So definitely if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button because I'm going to opening night with my best friends 
and I am so happy that I'm getting there on Thursday because if they are doing early merch, I will be there. Okay, then the Eras Tour Poncho is $10, and there's this thing, this ships around April 28th, where Swifties hope for a rain show because Taylor doesn't stop when there's a rain show. She like fully embraces it. Like there were downpours last tour and she was like fully living for it and everybody was dancing in the rain together. Um, I definitely have going to a rain show on my bucket list. Like that would be so, so happy for me. And most people would be like, oh no. But for me, they have the Eras Tour bandana set. And um, you know what? The ships on the 28th. I was not considering this until literally right this second. And let me tell you why. I have this Bigfoot Squishmallow that has become a running joke between Emma and I. And I was like, I'm bringing him to Glendale. Um, Emma thinks it's so funny. Like, I brought him to New York City with me um, when I went to see Taylor at Tribeca. Just because, like, it's such a running joke between Emma and I. And it would kind of be funny to, like... <laughs> tie around him or something um yeah I <laughs> that would be funny but it's $25 I probably won't get them because I really don't have a big use for them there's a coloring book excuse me an activity book and pencils I wish I could enlarge them because I wonder if like every single color pencil says like midnight you know what? I think it does. I can't read. Hold on. Let me enlarge it. Oh, it just says Taylor Swift the Heiress Tour, I think. Those are so cute. Like, I would buy them just for the colored pencils. I can't wait to see what's in them. It's $30, 13 pages, around May 5th. That's really cute, actually. Okay, the next thing is Taylor Swift the Heiress Tour guitar picks. Now, I am kind of tempted to go ahead and order these. I feel like these are going to fly it to her. They're $15. There's guitar picks for every single era. And it's so cute. And I collect the guitar picks. Like I have. <laughs> I can literally grab them right now. I have. <laughs> okay. Lover ones. Speak now ones. These were some of my first Taylor merch pieces. And I think there's some red ones in here. Oh yeah. There's like. <gasps> Oh, there's 1989 ones in here. I kind of just like put them all in the tin. Oh no, Rachel. But I do collect the guitar picks. And another one of my goals is to get a guitar pick from Scott Swift, Taylor's dad. If you don't know, her dad goes around and he'll like pass out guitar picks to fans. Um, and I've never gotten one from him and I think that that should change. Okay. But I really definitely am going to get the guitar picks. Da, 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 da. Okay, then a lot of people like this idea is the Eras Tour phone case and inserts. They only come in about four phone cases. But I love, love, love this idea so much. Then they have a coaster set again, but they're in the shape of guitar picks. I love this. I don't think I'll probably get this because I'll have like the guitar picks itself to collect, but this is so cute. Like I love my coasters. Like I keep them out at all times for decoration because I'm obsessed with them. There's an Eras Tour Tumblr, which is in the muted black color. There was also a shirt like this from the first drop and this is $35. Um, I probably won't get this. I'm not sure. I don't dislike it. I'm just trying to think smart because I'm going to literally buy all the clothing pieces. There's an Eras Tour mug. Now this ships on April 17th. It's 15 ounces. It's very, very cute. And it has all the tailors on it. Okay. This one will be mine. Okay. It's a Taylor Swift The Eras Tour makeup bag. It's $35 and it ships around May 5th. Like, that will be the best $35 I'll ever spend. Like, are you kidding me? Like, 
a makeup bag. I freaking love it. Like, it's so simple looking, but it's like, yeah, they know we're all traveling to see Taylor. And that leads me to the next item. The passport holder. There's a passport holder. Um, that is so cute. Like, are you kidding me? That, it's so cute. There's a luggage tag. A luggage tag for $10. And let me tell you, this will also be mine. Like, I am quite literally obsessed with the little luggage tag. Oh my god. Like, it's perfect. Like, it's so unique and it's so perfect. Then there's luggage stickers. Now, I will probably get two packs of these. And I say that because I'll probably get one to, like, keep and, like, keep safe. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, there's one that says, on my way to Taylor Swift, the Eras Tour. That is literally, that's the cutest thing ever. I'm gonna buy probably like five packs of these because I'm gonna be like putting it on my forehead, like I'll put it on my laptop, put it on my suitcase, like back of my phone. <gasps> that would be so cute. You guys, if you don't wanna slap them on your luggage, put them on the back of your phone case, like they really knocked it out of the park with that one um and then there's ones for every single era this is the cutest thing it's 15 dollars. Oh, that was such a good good marketing tactic like that is just the easiest way to get somebody to buy merch like a luggage tag and luggage stickers because i was thinking i'm like okay my dad actually got me brand new luggage for Christmas and he was like, I know you're gonna be traveling to see Taylor. I wanted you to have a nice piece of luggage because I've had the one that I use and have been using, I have had since 2012 and she's getting a little battered and beat up from all the airports throughout the years. So it was time for some new ones, but I was thinking to myself if I could make it personal and like get a sticker from everywhere I go because I love stickers like I have them all over my water bottle um and I even like collect them like if I go in like a random ice cream shop or a little like gift shop like I always seek out at like a dollar fifty sticker so that would be so cute for my suitcase that is probably my favorite thing from the drop and then the last thing is a little car decal that is magnetic and it just says Swifty it's ten dollars it's cute you guys in conclusion you guys are going to have a lot of hauls coming up on this channel and they might not all be at once because realistically I cannot buy this whole collection at once. However, I want to. It is the cutest thing that I have ever, ever, ever seen. I love every single piece to the T. They knocked it out of the park. They did so incredibly well with this collection. I love how they incorporated all the eras on some pieces, but they sporadically did like Oh, shirt, 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 shirt for every single era because everybody I feel like is like, okay, well, I'm like a Midnight Stan, I'm a Rep Stan, I'm a 1989 Stan, I'm a Fearless Stan, and they have something to cater to absolutely everyone. And it just, it really, really excites me too that they have like youth sizes because I know a lot of younger people are going to this concert and it makes me so emotional because... I remember my first Taylor Swift concert and all the this new generation is also being brought up by Taylor by her re-releasing her albums like I remember the first time I heard Love Story but like some little girl little boy like they're hearing Love Story Taylor's version for the first time and like developing a love for Taylor and like I, I'm gonna cry at, like seeing like little little kids at like their concert and I know like some of like um, my Swifty friends have actually had kids and they're taking their like kids to their first Taylor Swift concert and it just it makes me so like emotional and like this tour is truly going to be full circle 
So having merch pieces that caters to everything and also these unique pieces is a chef's kiss, but also a cry for my bank account. But I love you guys so much. Definitely tell me what you're planning on getting. Um, yeah, I'm really hoping that all of this is available at tour. I'm really like, I'm, I'm so scared. Like I'm wondering if I shouldn't like place an order for like the smaller items, like the cosmetic bag. Um, this, I, I'm sure that they'd have like the stickers, right? Those poor people. Those poor people working at the merch booth, like they're just, oh my God, like I'm already thinking of them. Um, and they deserve like the biggest hug for what they're doing because that's gonna be chaos. Um, especially when I go up there. Like I remember at Harry Styles, like a lot of stuff was like selling out. Oh, that's another thing. Like if you're scared about like your size selling out, maybe order it. Um, and then like if you actually find it at the concert, just like cancel your order if it's before those days. Um, definitely I recommend looking at the size charts of these before you even go to the concert. I definitely recommend, you know, if your date is before this, definitely see like when they would ship. Um, definitely if your dates are like after when those things would ship or when they're projected to ship, I would go ahead and like just stay online, see what people are saying about them. I myself will definitely be doing reviews for you guys, but I cannot believe two are so close. It is 17 days away from today. That does not feel real. At all. But I love you guys. And I will continue to update you. I'm going to continue to make Eras Tour content. And then I'm going to vlog when I actually see her. Which is like insane to say. But I love you guys. I hope this video entertains you in some way. And I sincerely hope I see you. Yes, you in the next one. Bye guys.